Question number three, Stuart Smith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay. To the Minister of Civil Defence, what update can he provide about the government's response to the Kaikoura uh, uh, earthquake? Speaker. The Honourable Simon Bridges. Oh, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Civil Defence, this morning I accompanied the Prime Minister's uh, on his second visit to Kaikoura since the earthquake, and I was able to see firsthand the extensive damage to essential connections and basic infrastructure which has isolated Kaikoura from the north and also the south. I can report that agencies from across government are working together to support Kaikoura in affected areas. Essential supplies continue to be delivered to, to Kaikoura, and teams on the ground are ensuring that all members of the affected communities are contacted to ensure their well-being. The response stepped up today with the arrival of HMNZS, Wellington and Canterbury. These vessels will assist in the evacuation operations and prepare for continued operations with the delivery of supplies. Defence helicopters will continue to provide relief supplies uh, to affected people. Can I personally thank everyone who has worked long hours and helped with this effort to date? Uh, as the response continues, the government is here to support the communities of Kaikoura and affected areas. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Smith. What additional support is being provided to the disaster response? The Honourable Simon Speaker, Richards. on behalf of the Minister, I'd just like to acknowledge that the New Zealand Government has been offered help from a number of nations who are involved in the International Naval Review and the NZDF is assessing the best use of their ships and aircraft. The Royal New Zealand Navy has already sent uh, HMNZS Canterbury and HMNZS Wellington to Kaikoura, uh, which arrived this morning. It will also send the frigate HMNZS Takaha and the fleet tanker, tanker HMNZS Endeavour, which are expected to arrive tomorrow morning. The ships Vancouver, Sampson and Darwin are currently en route. They are expected to arrive in Kaikoura overnight, and their embarked helicopters will provide a, I think, very significant addition to the humanitarian operation underway. While the New Zealand Defence Force was well placed to respond to the unfolding situation in Kaikoura and surrounding districts, we are very grateful for the help offered. It's heartening to see overseas partners so willing to alter their plans and to offer assistance. 